Okay, and then we are coming to the to the scenario three where it's a little bit more uh, specific and then more accurate design. So you need you, there are much more details. And then, as I mentioned before, the more details, the more steps you need. So, okay, again, from the step one, this is, as you can see, very simple sketch, not even like very accurate. Uh, I did this, I think, when I was like in my university, so it was a very old one. So what I did, mm -hmm. I scanned my I scanned my picture, uh, I uploaded uploaded to Mid Journey, and then in step two I added some colors. So you need to put link, and then what you want to be on the on the on the uh, image, like you see that from here we went to here. Uh, so I wanted blue curtains, like a wooden wooden bed, and then from from here once AI has enough information on the image, it can go. Uh, you can go to the next step. The, the next step was to add more more details, like uh, like more, maybe different kind of uh, textures and different kind of uh, uh, colors used in the in the image. And then uh, mm -hmm. you can see here what I what I did. Like I put some yellow thing uh, against still blue curtain. Uh, and then from step three, once it has the, enough information, you can go to step four, which which can give you like a rough rendering. Again, when I say rough rendering, those are the very like what we what we as architects used to uh, pr produce is those fast renderings that just go quickly as quickly as possible just to see the the combination of colors and stuff uh, in the real like uh, in the real uh, world and um, so yeah after rough rendering once you choose the one that you like uh, it may happen that like from step three you need to uh, create more like more images because every outcome every uh, prompt that you put uh, the outcome is for image right but it may happen mm -hmm. that those four image is not something that you are looking for or they are a little bit different than what you are looking for so uh, you need to like uh, click a uh, few times to to create uh, like few more uh, images right and mm -hmm. then once you chose the one then then you go to the step 5 where you are going to put like a fine tune rendering you can see here mm -hmm. uh, so and then you, you here you can add more more detail like a description of the what kind of uh, picture what kind of camera what kind of lens what kind of lightning and stuff um, and then after that one like from step five to step six uh, once you Whoa. once you create something like that you like you can go from rendering to photo and then from mm -hmm. from rendering to photo like it's even more accurate and then uh, from this one uh so on the way to create this one uh mid journey gave me a few of the different uh, iterations that i liked so th th mm -hmm. these are actually the one that i chose in the end uh as you can see like the the, the shape the color of the curtain is different but that's mm -hmm. just because i felt like oh this is more natural and then this is more uh, like a rendering rendering style and then this is more like a natural photos photographic style uh, they look can, amazing. Yeah, and then you can see here what I what I so so from like you can see that my sketch was this, and then we ended up like this. So same corner, mm -hmm. same angle. Uh, this is I mean this is what I was aiming for, and uh, like it for for this for this uh, it took me literally from the like after I drew the sketch very very rough sketch, uh, it took me like. I don't know, 10 minutes to produce those two images. And Whoa. then and, and then this is enough for the client to show, oh, what, what do you think about this? And then clients say, oh, I like this one, or I don't like this one. Mm -hmm. ah, mm -hmm. You understand? And is it is it 10 minutes because you're, you're already used to using the prompts and, and mid-journey? Or do you think that uh, how steep is the learning curve is my, my question? I, I would say that yeah, I mean, since I have a little bit more experience, what kind of you words to use and what kind of uh, like settings to to put into the prompt, so it's it's a bit mm -hmm. easier. But all of this I actually uh, explained in my book. That that I mean, that's why I wrote okay. the book because I, I mm -hmm. want to share mm -hmm. the experience, uh, my experience with other people, uh, and then like a lot of people who actually took the book, uh, they gave me their response that it's very good. It helped them a lot. They, it saved a lot of time and the energy, like trying out different kind of stuff. 
And then mm -hmm. as well, uh, you can see that I also hear, so from creation, it's another, uh, another chapter in the book. And then where I actually mm -hmm. put how to do, uh, how to do the, the stuff. Uh, and, that, and that's exactly what I'm what I'm looking at. That the prompt, it's like it's the magic. It's where it, it it's where it all happens. Yeah. And 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 it's unbelievable because the thing is the the better or more detail you you put on the prompt, the better the outcome. Exactly. And 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 one of the things that I saw on on the last one that I that I thought that was genius. That I wouldn't, I wouldn't thought of, is that it says Canon EOS R3 with 16 millimeter lens. Like you yeah. even specified the kind of camera and the kind of angle that yes. that is gonna take, and and that's awesome. That's that's amazing. So uh, that's why I said uh, I always mention this that universities are never going to die because universities are not only giving you some like universities are giving you basic knowledge plus they are uh, they are making you more socialized so you you spread your network you are starting from university like from school and then you are spreading mm -hmm. your network like from school towards the work and then from work towards the clients stuff like that so university is not just a knowledge i mean it's a basic knowledge but also socializing and then this is where i found your university uh, useful because we actually learn about what kind of camera and what kind of angles to to use in our in our renderings um so but but i mean besides that i i assume that not many people know about this kind of stuff so all of this i actually uh, i actually uh, included in my in my book and then i can show you here uh okay so here i for, i put all of the architects that you can use mm -hmm. and then all of the designers and artists depends of what kind of rendering you want and then mm -hmm. also periods and styles. The, the thing that I mentioned to you, uh, uh, like so, somebody doesn't know about Baroque, but here I put Baroque and then what, what kind of like specification it is. Mm -hmm. uh, and then also I added like photographers and styles, like what kind of, so uh, different kind of photographers have different kind of styles, right? So in order yeah. for you to experiment with image that you like, uh, I think it would be very good for you to experiment with, with the photographers as well, because this is how the mm -hmm. AI is uh, learned on. And then as well, I also uh, added like camera and lenses and then what kind of camera is used for what kind of um, uh, thing. And then uh, also here, like what, what kind of lenses are uh, used and then what kind of um, uh, features of the lens. Uh, and then I also explained like what is used for what. And then uh, as well, like for landscapes, I also describe what kind of landscapes, because um, we are architects, we don't do only interior design. So uh, landscape description is very mm -hmm. important for us. Um, oh yeah. And, and uh, also what I did here is I actually gave examples. So example of the simple prompts, example of the more detailed mm -hmm. prompts. Uh, like the difference between simple and detailed, the different difference of the outcomes. So I, mm -hmm. I literally gave a lot of uh, information on in order to save you time. So how to mm -hmm. how to how to do something in order to get something uh, like in this kind of quality. I mean, if this is enough for for uh, for you. ¿Qué está pasando, mi gente? Si les gustó este video, pueden ver la entrevista completa aquí. Y no olviden suscribirse.